Nice hit, nice shot. All right. <laughs> I was so blessed to be part of the Paralyzed Veterans of America's Outdoor Recreation Heritage Fund. The whole point of the Outdoor Recreation Heritage Fund is taking these guys and their families. I mean, the Outdoor Recreation Heritage Fund is really focused not just on the guys, but bringing their families, getting them back into the field, back fishing, back hunting, back hiking, back kayaking. So the, the fund does an amazing job of supporting getting vets that come home, from Iraq and Afghanistan and other parts of the world that were wounded and now getting them back into the outdoors, which most of them loved prior to, to joining the armed forces. It's not the same group of vets every year. They, they uh, interact and bring in, in different vets each year. Uh, some, some of them are legacies, carryovers from the previous year, but, but mostly it's, uh, it's new guys. They all come out and have just a, an amazing time. PVA does a great job. The sponsors that show up like Otis, uh, really take good care of these guys, and they should. They are true American heroes. At first, everybody shows up that has not been in that environment. And I, I had been in this environment and, and still showed up a little nervous because you don't know how to uh, interact and how awkward it may be with certain, certain, uh, certain of these guys. Some of them don't like to talk about their experience. Uh, everybody's different, but uh, again, we were there for uh, tell hunt and fishing stories, have some great meals, and get out in the field and do some bird hunting. I grew up in a military family. My father was in the military. I uh, was in the military, went to ROTC, went to airborne school, got out of airborne school, fortunately tore up, uh, tore up my knees and, and had to exit the military early. But I really respect what these guys do overseas, and, and not everybody has an appreciation for the sacrifices they make to preserve our freedom. Got to know specifically one warrior, uh, named Matt from Colorado and heard about his tragic accident in Iraq and how far he's come and what he's been able to do while he's been confined to his wheelchair. He is truly an American hero, a very inspirational. So here's a gentleman that does not view himself having disabilities at all, even though he's a quadriplegic. Sits in a chair, spends the whole day in the field with me and shoots with his mouth and a straw, a pheasant out of the air. It was a magnificent moment, something I'm gonna cherish the rest of my life. Yeah, there you go, they're flying real high. Okay, here you go, here you go, here. Good hit. Good hit. Get so, that dog to clear. It, we worked long and hard, lots of different locations, and finally lined him and his, his shotgun and his wheelchair up, and and he knocked down a pheasant. It was truly remarkable. There wasn't a dry eye in the field, Matt. I mean, he is so full of life and energy and such a proud father and, and proud soldier. It, it, was, uh, it was a blessing to be with him. They are all uh, great guys. You know, they understand what they went through uh, and they are living their version of a normal life. It may not be everybody's version of normal life, but it's, it's their version of normal life and they are extremely inspirational. They are true American heroes. And what they went through and their positive attitude that they brought back, not just for their families and friends, but people like me that, they, that they've never met before, it was truly inspirational. We were all there for, for one reason, one reason only, to have fun and, and go do a little hunting. And really the hunting was secondary. It was really about fellowship and hanging out with the guys, hearing their stories, telling hunting and fishing stories. I mean, we all were outdoorsmen there and, and everybody got along fabulously. It was, it was really a, an amazing experience and, and all the people that got to participate on behalf of the uh, Paralyzed Veterans, lots of my friends, uh, our film crew, really became in, in a very short period of time uh, close to these vets and, and we've been lucky to have kept in contact with, with a lot of them and this has now become an annual event. <laughs>